Hi folks, what we have here is the Wazoo Cash Cap, and we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So they call it a Cash Cap, and obviously they're talking about the C-A-C-H-E variety, the storage cash, and I suppose that's an appropriate name because, as it says right here, this cap has six hidden pockets to stash your stuff. Now, of course, one of the things you could store in this cap would be cash, C-A-S-H. So if you were to use this cap to store only cash, well, in that case, I guess you would have a cash cash cap. But dump dump I'll be here all week. <laughs> Anyway, the Wazoo Cash Cap sells for right at $30 on their website, and I think that's a pretty fair price because this is made in the USA, and it does seem to be a very good quality. It's nice and thick, seems very durable, and like it would last a long time if properly cared for. Now, they do sell these in several colors. Obviously, I got the gray. You can get whatever color you like. I think they have black and tan and maybe a camouflage color as well. So let's go ahead and take off the tags and the stickers and then we'll check out these six hidden pockets on the inside. All right, so three of the hidden pockets are on the cap itself and then the other three are on the brim. So inside the cap, the largest compartment is here in the middle and you can see, there it is. These pockets are made of a mesh material. You can kind of see through them and it folds over itself and keeps whatever's in there nice and secure. And then of course your head presses against it and keeps it even more secure. And then on either side of the large pocket, you've got a smaller pocket. There's one there and the other one's right over here. And then on the bill of the cap, the largest of the three pockets is right here in the middle and it's held shut with Velcro. There it is. It's pretty small, but then again, it's on the bill of a cap. How big can it be? But you could put something small in there for sure. And then on either side of that pocket, there are two really skinny pockets, one here and one here. And although these count as individual pockets, they're actually connected all the way around the edge here. So if you wanted to, you could put one really long skinny item going all the way around here, which we might do in just a minute. Now, obviously, this cap is not meant to be a big, all-inclusive survival kit. I mean, there's only so much stuff you can store in this cap, and it really doesn't have to be for survival at all. It can just be when you need to keep some stuff handy, and you don't want to put it in your pockets, or you don't have any pockets. So, you know, if you go to the beach, or maybe a day hike, or to a concert, back when they used to have concerts. So, it can be handy in those situations. I really don't think the goal here is to have an all-inclusive survival kit in your cap. Now, right out of the box, without any gear in the cap, it fits really well. It's nice and snug, and it's a very well-made cap. I really like it. And I usually don't wear caps because my head's pretty big, and this thing fits really nicely. So let's go ahead and put some gear in here, and then we'll see how it fits after that. So on the tag here, you can see they've got some suggested stuff, a key, pills, first aid, credit cards, ID, cash, fire-making supplies, even a USB memory stick and you can store an airplane in this cap. <laughs> anyway, I've got some stuff we can try putting in this cap. Got a little bit of cash. I've got a stand-in for a credit card. This is my Flying Biscuit Frequent Diner card. And then I've got this stash of gear. This is from the Wazoo Adventure Kit. And when I reviewed the Wazoo Cash Belt, we put this gear in the belt. If you want to watch that review, I'll put a link to it in this video. The cash belt's pretty cool. So we'll see what we can put in here within reason. Again, you're not going to fit all this stuff into the cap. So we'll start off by putting a little bit of cash in here at $25. And we'll stick it over in the side pocket. There we go. And I've got my credit card, my stand-in credit card, if you will. I'll put it right there. And let's dump out all this gear and see what we can put in here. I really don't want to put all of this in here at all. It's not going to fit, so. Now I've got that long and narrow pocket right here. So let's see if maybe we can fit something down in this U part of that pocket. Oh, let's try the twisty ties. I think those might slide in easily. Yeah. And we'll put one in from the other side as well. And you can put anything you want. I'm just giving you some examples. And on the ends of these, let's see if we can put something. I'll put a ferro rod on one side and we'll put the 
little blade striker thing on the other side. So put the ferro rod right there. I'm going to leave it sticking out a little bit so it's easy to grab. And we'll put our little striker thing over on this side. It's like a striker slash blade. So it's got a blade there and then you could use that side as a striker. And we'll put that right there. And now we've got this pocket here. And the nice thing about the adventure kit from Wazoo is that a lot of the gear is in these narrow straw tubes. So let's see if we can fit the cordage right here. Yeah, and it fits fine. Well, we've got our little mini fishing kit to go with that cordage, which I believe this is supposed to be fishing line, but you could use it as cordage as well. But we'll put the fishing gear near that. We'll close that up. And let's see what else we can fit up here. Well, here's some water purification tablets. Those might come in handy. There we go. And here's a water storage bag and some foil and some ranger bands. I'm not sure if this will fit anywhere. Probably could fold it up. Eh. Yeah, I don't, that might be a little uncomfortable. Well, let's see if we can put this whistle and flashlight in here. I'm going to take these apart. So we'll put the whistle over here. And we'll put our flashlight. I don't want my I don't want my head to turn it on, so I don't know if we can fit it in here. Yeah, that might work. And then I'll put the fishing gear over here. And we'll throw in these twisty ties as well. They should be pretty flush. There we go. All right, so we've got some handy gear in there. Let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits. Yeah, still fits fine. You can kind of see there's something up here with the credit card in there, but yeah, it fits fine. Now, I probably wouldn't store all this gear in here if I was using the cap on a daily basis. I would probably just keep some cash and maybe a key or something like that and maybe a credit card. I probably wouldn't keep all this gear because I've got a survival kit in my car, get home bag and stuff like that. But yeah, fits fine. I like it. Yeah, so for me, for everyday use, I would probably, you know, lose a lot of this stuff. I'll keep the cordage in there. Probably going to remove the fishing gear. What are the chances of needing that just randomly out of the blue? So we'll keep the cash in there. And I'll keep my credit card in there and the water purification tablets. And I'll keep the whistle in there. And of course, I'll keep the ferro rod striker and zip ties down here. I think that's a little more reasonable, but you know, you could put whatever you wanted in here. It's completely up to you. Oh, you know what I'm also going to put in here? A couple band-aids. There we go. Anyway, so yeah, the Wazoo cash cap. I think this is a great idea and it could certainly come in handy in a lot of different situations. And you know, for an all USA high quality cap, I think the $30 price tag is very reasonable. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon and you'll find a link in the video description. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world, not only to me, but to the future of this channel. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbash Survival. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.